Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today is a very exciting day. Hyolin, formerly of Sistar, had a comeback today and I love her so much. Um, I think she was like the second or third artist I ever reacted to on my channel like a year and a half ago. Don't watch the video. It was awful. It was one of my first ever reactions. It's cringe. If you watch it, I'm sorry for the person I was back then. Um, but anyway, I love her so much. CC is still my favorite Hilden song. It probably always will be. It's actually one of my favorite songs of all time. Not just K-pop. I love CC so much. It is everything I love. Summer, bop, dance, fun, vocals. Ugh, that song is a masterpiece. But she just came out with a new song today called Lay in Low. I'm going to check that out. I know that she also came out with a song a couple weeks ago called Aha. I think it was a Christmas song. I don't know. I didn't react to it though. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm also going to react to a couple older ones that I haven't seen yet. So I'm going to do To Do List, Bay, Aha, and Lay in Low. I think Bay is actually one of her most iconic solo songs, most popular songs. So I'm surprised I haven't reacted to it yet, but I'm very excited. So anyway, this is Hyolin. Let's go. All right, I'm going oldest to newest. So we are starting off with to-do list. Let's go. Oh, she always looks so happy. Ooh, it's a slower song. That's one thing. I haven't heard a whole lot of Hyolin like slower songs. Uh, yeah, she's always giving vocals like in Nine Lives and stuff like that, but most of her songs are usually upbeat and fun. This sounds a little bit sadder. Oh. Her voice is so pretty. I'm so used to her singing like these big notes and just belting her lungs out because she has a huge voice. So it's actually really nice to hear her kind of in this more just airy, breathy, very high pitch and kind of like vulnerable sounding singing because she sounds amazing. And the lyrics. Okay, so she's writing, producing, recording it herself. Oh, whose cat is that? Oh my gosh. Is that her cat? Was she FaceTiming with her cat? Oh my gosh, I think I just understood. She's so busy with her career and like doing shows and stuff. She literally had to put getting over this relationship on her to-do list because she's so busy. She hasn't had time to process like the heartbreak and the emotion. That's heartbreaking. She's like, I'm working so hard. I haven't even had time to like cry over this. 
So getting over you is going on my to-do list. <sighs> That's actually really deep. And I love her for that. She got to keep the dance moves. <sighs> oh, she looks great here. Wow. Okay. That, oh wait, hold on. It started auto playing. Dali, which I have not reacted to, but I have. That's iconic. I've seen that music video. I've heard that song hundreds of times. I love that song. Um, I really liked that. That was very, it's the kind of music I like. I kind of really like sad music, heartbreaking music. Um, but it can't just be sad. It also has to have like a good melody and good vocals. It has to be something I want to listen to, not just something that's sad. And that was really good. Um, I feel like the music video was kind of lacking. Um, obviously, the music video, I think it was just clips that they shot while she was on tour or while she was busy. Um, so it's just kind of one of those videos where they took the footage and they put it together. I think that song could have had like a dramatic music video and just, I don't know, that's just me liking the drama, wanting to see like a, the whole thing play out. Um, but yes, that was really good. And I've said this before, I think Hyolin is one of the best female vocalists in K-pop. And I feel like she's often overlooked. Um, I don't know how popular her solo music career is. Um, but I hope I hope that she's successful and continues to be successful because she's incredibly talented. So, yes, we're going to move on to the next one, but um, that song was gorgeous and very heartbreaking. So I loved it, obviously. <laughs> All right, next up is Bay, and I'm very excited for this one. Other than Dolly and CC, which I already love both of those songs, um, this is the one that I see requested most frequently. So I'm very excited. We're at the Pink Motel. Let's go. I feel like a lot of... I feel like a lot of her videos are shot in like California. Is she based in LA? Bay. Wait, I think that's the same... Does she have the same backup dancers every time? Same girls? Oh. Okay. This is... Summer Queen. Uh, what's this chorus gonna be like? Tasty, sexy hashtag is what? <laughs> oh. I like this a lot. They're 
there's something about I think that melody in this production that kind of feels kind of feels like a throwback. I don't know maybe like a 90s throwback. It's definitely giving me I don't know nostalgic vibes even though I've never heard the song. It sounds familiar and it sounds fun. When I think of Hyolin, I think of two things. I think, well, I think of a lot of things, but I predominantly think of vocals first and foremost, because like I said, her voice is incredible. But I also think of just like fun summer bops. And I think that has a lot to do with her being the leader of Sistar, right? I think of things like uh, touch my body and shake it and push push like all of those songs are iconic but then i also think of cc and um just like some of her other songs i think hyolin and like summer go hand in hand so this is like perfect i'm surprised i haven't reacted to this already oh. Watch me find out she was also a rapper. I've only heard Sister's title tracks. And I love that she's just having fun. This choreography. See the big smile on her face? You can tell she just loves performing, dancing, singing. Yeah, this is catchy. Ooh. Oh, this Even the outfit is kind of giving me like clueless 90s vibes. And they're at the roller. Yeah, it's definitely like a retro throwback vibe. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Um, it kind of reminds me... It reminds me a little bit of CC. I don't think they sound as similar, but they're kind of like in the same vibe. And I think Bay came out before CC. I think. But anyway, I loved that. Um, that's really good. That's really good. I don't know if any of these songs... I don't know if I'm going to like any of these songs as much as that one, because... That's just everything I love. Summer, fun, dancing. Like, it was just fun. And I loved it. And it's a bop. It's a bop. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. This one is Aha. It just came out in December of last year. So just like a month ago. Let's check it out. <laughs> Okay. So it's kind of got like the Christmas instrumental vibes. But it's funky. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this a Christmas song? 
Or does it just have like jazzy horns and no, it's definitely like a Christmas instrumental. But it's also Hilden, so of course she has to be by the pool, like in California, just being gorgeous. <laughs> Love it. Oh, she's so pretty. I really kind of want her to do some more retro stuff. Okay, yeah, okay, definitely Christmas. All right. <laughs> I don't love Christmas music, so I don't listen to a lot of it. Hey, this is like sexy Christmas, though. <laughs> Her choreography is always iconic. I feel like I feel like I recognize this girl on the left. Is she the same girl from the Bay music video? I'm gonna have to go back and, and look, but if she's had the same dancers like her whole solo career, uh, I think that's amazing. I really don't know much about her at all. I just know her music. Oh. Yes. Oh, she's so cute. Okay. Um. Special thanks to Bay. Wait. Bay's the name of the song we just reacted to. Is Bay like her, like her fandom name too? If so, that's really cute. Special thanks to Bay. Ugh. I gotta find out. Um, I gotta learn more about Hyolin because honestly, she's probably one of my favorite, uh, like in terms of her music and her voice and just her talent. She's probably one of my favorite solo artists, like female solo artists. I don't listen to a ton of female. I think honestly, the only female solo artist I listen to is Taeon and... Tiffany <laughs> and the girls, <laughs> the girls' generation girls. Um, so maybe I should react to like a guide to Sistar or a guide to Hyolin. Um, because I really kind of do want to learn more about her. Um, and I obviously would love to react to more Hyolin stuff. So, um, yeah, if the Hyolin fans want to let me know, I would love to do that. All right, the last one for today is Layin' Low, and I did see a teaser for this on Twitter. Uh, so I kind of know a little bit about what to expect. I I know that we're going to be getting a sexy Yolen mood um, featuring Ju Young. Okay, I don't know who that is, but I'm excited. There's a feature on here. Um, let's go. The bodysuit. Oh no, that's two pieces. Okay. Hold on, sorry. Did <laughs> did anyone pay attention to the lyrics of this song? All right, I'm gonna try to pay attention to the lyrics of this song. Um, I think my my homosexuality should. Uh, I should be immune to some of this that's going on. Um, but yeah. 
But I mean... I think... Wait, I think the caption might have been wrong there. I think she said, we at each other's throat. Or like, we're at each other's throats, I think is what she was talking about. That would make more sense than we at each other through. Because she's talking about fighting, like being at each other's throats. <laughs> okay, this is a bop though. Oh. oh, I like his voice. Oh my god. Sorry, I did not mean... Okay, the... I'm not a dancer, but I'm pretty sure that what she just did there was incredibly difficult. Um, like, my back hurts just watching it. The flexibility, like, I think she just did a handstand or, like, a headstand. I'm not going to rewind it because I... I don't want to be weird. Um, I'm sure some reactors probably zoomed in and rewound and like. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to say is that sexy is sexy. I think regardless of gender or whatever, this is just sexy and confident. And the on top of everything, the song is just, it's just a bop. <laughs> This is my favorite part. I guess the pre-chorus. Hey, the backup dancers are getting it too. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and like I just like yeah I just love like the the representation of her dancers and everything like these are these are women these are real women and they're killing it the attitude I love her hair like that. This choreography is iconic too. That smirk. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Hold on, I want to listen to that outro again because she she just sounded incredible. Ah, um, let me try to describe it. Like, okay, so I know a thing or two about singing, right? I went to college for vocal performance. I did some vocal coaching. Um. 
It's really difficult to sing in a breathy style like she just did there, but still have your voice sound full and rich. Usually when 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 you're singing in that more kind of breathy style, usually the, the support tends to go away, like the breath support, and then the sound just kind of sounds kind of like wispy, I guess. And she just had a very like rich, breathy vocal tone. Sounded gorgeous. It it sounded really gorgeous. I loved it. That's one of the things I really like um, about Billie Eilish too, is just her ability to use that much breath, but still sound full and rich and not just sound like weak and breathy. Because vocals that sound too breathy and too weak and airy can sometimes, depending on the person's preference, can sometimes just be annoying or just just sound breathy. And Hyolin did not do that. Her voice just sounded incredible, which, I mean, she sounded incredible in all four of these songs. I loved it so much. I'm officially a Hyolin stan, or I guess a bay, as they're called, as we're called. Um, what was my favorite? Actually, I loved all of these, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest, I think... I love them all for different reasons, for different moods. Honestly, I think Lay and Low would be the one that I would listen to most frequently. Like, that comes on, I don't ever skip it. Um, also, Bay. I really loved Bay. To-do list was incredible. Um, more on the, like, artistic, like, singer-songwriter side. I really liked To-do list, but I'm not always in the mood for, like, a, a breakup song. And... Aha was fun, but I, if you've watched any of my reactions, I don't love Christmas music and even just like the bells and the chords and like the jazz horns and stuff. It just had a Christmas vibe, <laughs> but I still liked it. It was fun. It was a fun summery Christmas song, but I probably won't listen to it that often if I'm just being honest, but still Bay laying low bops. Um, all right, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Um, let me know what other Hyolin songs I should react to. Keep in mind, I have already heard CC and Dolly, and I have reacted to Say My Name and Nine Lives. But other than that, I don't know how many solo songs she has, honestly. Um, so let me know if there's some that I missed that you think I would like. And uh, yeah, if if I should react to a Sistar guide, let me know. I definitely want to check out more of Sistar's discography. And I think there is even a Sistar subunit that I haven't gotten to yet. And more Hyolin solo stuff. And also, if any of the other Sistar girls have solo careers, uh, let me know. Hopefully, they're still friends. Because I don't know anything about... I don't know anything about the group. Like, how, how they disbanded or... Um, you know, hopefully there's no drama there. Hopefully it's all good. But anyway, I love this today, and I will definitely be reacting to more Hyolin or Sistar or both very soon. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.